Well, it all it all started at uh, my buddy Justin's wedding. Well, Jason was in the wedding. He was a groomsman um, at J Bridget and Justin's wedding. And my sister Stephanie was a bridesmaid in the wedding and I came along to babysit my nephew. <laughs> yeah, at the reception, uh, I was talking to with one of my buddies and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ask her to dance. I'm gonna ask her to dance. And he's like, no, no, it's, it's too early in the night. You gotta wait, you gotta wait, you know, don't rush it. And and every time I was like, all right, now I'm gonna ask her. And he's like, no, it's, you know, just wait, just wait. And finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm not listening to you anymore. We, the guys went to the reception after the ceremony. I'm walking out to go take care of my nephew as so my sister and brother-in-law can ride on the party bus. And he's like, my boon is <laughs> starting to come off and I'm frazzled because <laughs> I'm like, oh shoot, I don't know what to do. Like I've <laughs> got off guard. So I'm like, I was like, it looks fine. It looks fine. Someone else can take care of it. So then I just leave and go take care of my nephew. Well then, you know, when we get back to the reception, he comes up to me, sees where I'm sitting, and um, his boutonniere is completely off. <laughs> so he's like, I need help with my boutonniere. So I put his boutonniere back on, and, um, and then he asked me to be a part of their little grand march um, portion. She said yes, and, and we danced the entire night away. Uh, we danced all night long, and yeah, no, I guess that was where it all began. My sister came, or told the bride to, um, not tell us that they were leaving because they were going to take the, my nephew back home, um, get, get to bed, and they're like, don't tell her we're leaving. And as the night started winding down, she's like, oh, I better check with her sister to see if she needs any help with um, her nephew and family. And we look around, and her sister and her brother-in-law had already taken off, and so they kind of just left, left us to be to dance the night away. I do have to say, the next morning when I woke up, my sister's like, you're going to marry him. <laughs> and she's right. <laughs> well, I think she's extremely selfless. I, I don't think she ever puts herself forward. She's so caring, you know, and she's always thinking about others and, you know, putting other people first and just, you know, seeing someone, you know, who lives like their life like that, you know, I just, you know, I want to be more like her. And, and when I'm with her, I think I'm a better person. And, and then I also, um, makes me want to be even better, you know, because she's such an amazing woman. He's just my one true love. I mean, I've never loved somebody like I love him. And um, he's just humorous and he's got chivalry and just everything that, you know, just to help complete me and just helps me to be a better person. Um, we work well together, enjoy doing a lot of things the same things together and um, just have fun and just enjoy life. Jason, you are my best friend and I'm so thankful God brought us together. Your chivalry and humor made me want to get to know you more. I appreciate the way you make me laugh in any circumstance. You make me feel so special and I'm so glad to become your wife. You are my faithful partner and one true love. To my best friend and one true love, Pamela. It's hard to believe that today, our wedding day, is finally here. It seems like only yesterday I first laid eyes on you. You were certainly playing hard to get, and I'm glad that my persistence paid off. I will encourage you and inspire you. I will always be there to laugh with you, lift you up when you are down, and love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. After our first dance, I felt a strong connection with you that has continued to grow with each passing day. As we spent more and more time together, I discovered that I truly love everything about you. Your loving heart, your competitive nature, your way with our nieces and nephews, the way you put up with my shenanigans, and how you're not afraid to show your wild side. Every love story is beautiful, but ours is truly my favorite. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Ruth 1.16 Jason, I will always love you with all my heart for the rest of our lives. I love you. Life with you has been a blast. I love how together we can turn any situation into fun. You are truly a beautiful woman inside and out. There is a lot of uncertainty in life, but I am certain that together we can get through anything. I am so very thankful that God has brought us together. My heart belongs to you forever. Love you.
There are so many words that define you. You're a man of integrity, a role model, provider, protector, teacher, and friend. I'm so proud to call you my husband. Love your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Schmidt. Toast to Pamela and Jason. Um, may your lives uh, continue to bless each other as you two have already blessed us so far. So again, thank you and here, here to Jason and Pamela. Jason, you've always been smart, kind, and caring, and make great decisions. Make, marrying Pamela is probably one of your best decisions so far. She is kind, thoughtful, and most importantly, she enjoys the sale. And let's give this gorgeous couple the toast that they deserve. Raise your glass in honor of my brother and one of my best friends and his beautiful new wife. Congratulations, and we wish you many years of happiness. Philippians 1 6 says, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This right here is good. May the trust and love and faith that you have in the Lord and that you have in this marriage carry you on to completion, as I know it will. I love you too, and I love you together. And now you have to kiss. 